Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Mr. Jorge. Hello, Nelson. How are you? Hello. Welcome you back. Doing? Welcome back from your vacations. <laughs> How was it? Did you enjoy them? Very well. Uh, just a little bit because it was very short. <laughs> I, but it was a week, come on. Yeah, I think like when you have this type of, of like free time on which you say like, yeah, I'm going to have like seven days off or three or four days and they go like this, right? And I'm when work, it, uh -huh. I, I'm work until Wednesday. Oh, uh -huh. you work until Wednesday. So Wednesday. you only had uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. A couple of days. A couple of days only. <laughs> what about you, Nelson? Did you have vacations? Hello. Did you have vacations? Very good. But did you have vacation? Tuviste vacaciones? Yes. Okay. How many days? Cuantos días? Uh, three days three days okay yes. but yeah but at least it helps to catch up with energy okay very good so we are going to start working welcome to our last week of classes um <laughs> this is going to be our last week but we are going to be working a lot on different things, right? We're going to be uh, checking on the different things we did on the previous classes. And for sure, we are going to work a little bit on the last things that we are missing from the module. Many of you have already finished the platform, right? I really, I really congratulate all of you because you have done a very good job on the platform, I was checking it today, and many of you have finished already. So some of you are just are just missing like uh, a couple of exams. I think Umberto, you are finishing. We are only missing the final exam, I guess, yes. or a part of yes. unit number four. In the case of yes. Nelson, I think you are done with the platform. You finish everything. Mr. Danny, welcome to the class. I don't know if you can listen to me, but I need you to work on the platform because you haven't advanced anything. And Diana, uh, I think you're missing just part number four and a couple of exams and that's it, right? To finish with it. And with the rest of the class, I am going to, to guide you a little bit during the class for the parts that are missing, right? Hello, Rocio. Welcome. Yes. Hello. Good evening. Yes, Mr. Jorge. They need vacation to recover from vacation. <laughs> the vacation. Yeah, we always need vacations for the vacations. It, it is kind of complicated, right? Because we tend to do all the things that we never do on the days of vacations. Because you say like, ah, tengo que arreglar tal cosa, tengo que arreglar tal cosa, tengo que hacer eso, tengo que hacer aquello. Everything on the vacation. So the vacation is just a lot of work <laughs> on your free time. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, I, I saw that there was this amusement park uh, here in San Salvador that was full of people. The Cibar, Cibar a thing. Lot of traffic. A lot of traffic, a lot of people. And it was but completely full. Don't tell me that you went to the to the amusement park. Did you go? No, teacher. <laughs> I I prefer go to the beach. Yeah. Well, I, I, I didn't go out this time. I stay at home. I I didn't do much. I just stay here and it's better. Chill. <laughs> chill. It's, it's better. Adelante, go forward or 
Oh, later, you say, like, later. when you say, like, más adelante, you say, like, it's, it's better um, later on to go later or to go in a, in a non-holiday day. Yes. It's a lot better. Well, welcome to all of you. I have seen many of you connecting already. That's pretty awesome. Thank you for being here and thank you for connecting again. Well, I was mentioning to your classmates that we are going to work on our last uh, part of the module. On Friday, we are going to be doing the, the um, evaluation, the survey, right? We are going to do the survey on Friday. They send it to you today because uh, they wanted you to have the information and all that. And uh, you are going to be filling it up with me on Friday, right? So I'm going to go in one by one, step by step. Some of you have already done this before, right? Who has done the survey before? ¿Quién ya ha hecho la, entre la encuesta antes? Okay, good. Who else? You, Carolina, good. Me. Nelson, thank you. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. The last day of classes, I present a video on how to do it. We go step by step doing it and then we fill it up together. Yes, Rosia? No, teacher, nothing. Ah, but you have Just done the, you have the done the <laughs> Okay, yes, good, yeah. very good. Excellent, excellent, Rosia. So you see the experience. Um, so that's what we are going to do on Friday, right? We're going to finish that on Friday. And I was mentioning uh, your friends about the platform, right? I was mentioning that some of you have a, to work a little bit more on it, right? I was mentioning about uh, Diana, Jorge, uh, Claudita, I think you're missing just a couple of exercises. Claudia Maria, you are missing a couple of exercises. Um, let me see from the ones that I have here. Ah, Rocio, I think you need to work on a couple of exercises on the platform. Te faltan unos dos o tres ejercicios, Rocio, eh, para terminarla. Also, uh, well, I'm going to wait for Tatiana and Silvia, right? And Marlene. And I'm also missing Linda, right? For you to have everything complete and we can move forward on uh, this part of, or this section of our module, okay? So without uh, any further ado, we're going to go over today's lesson. Today, we're going to start the last track of our module. I send you a little game to the group. Did you have the chance to answer it? Yes. Yeah, teacher, it was number number one. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, very good. It was a little, a little funny. exercise. Very yeah. Funny. <laughs> Ya bien, bien. Me quedan bonitos. <laughs> yes. So uh, that was for us to practice a little bit on the adverbs, right? And uh, because that's the topic that we're going to study today, we are going to study the adverbs. And um, I, I wanted you to have like this short overview before starting, right? Remember, we are finishing on Friday, August 12th, right? All the things should be finished by that day. Remember to write your name on the platform when we connect exactly as it is on the DUI. To keep your camera on, to keep your microphones off if we are not using them, to participate in class. And for sure, all your attendance in classes, please don't miss classes during the week. This is, this is your final week. So please don't miss classes, right? And uh, I'm going to be taking the attendance as I have always been doing it. And if any of you is missing for the one-on-one, -on -one, let me know so we can stay at the end of the class, right? For most of the ones here, I have already attended all of you. So please, if, or if you have any further questions, I can also uh, stay with you, right? Even if you had your one-on-one -on -one already. Aun cuando hayamos tenido ya la sesión uno a uno, me puedo quedar siempre con ustedes. Si ustedes gustan quedarse, igual eh, les colaboro. Let me see. Remember, right, to keep the, the microphone muted if we are not using it. And for sure, our daily agreements, right? 
we always have to remember, right, to participate and practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help if you need it. Keep your cameras on. Keep the microphones off if we're not using it. Attend your sessions on time. Uh, participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude. And if you need help on the WhatsApp group, don't doubt on doing it because we are always there to help you, right? And work on the platform every single day. So today we are going to have a little section about the highlights, but we're going to talk about the vacation, right? On this section of the highlights, I need you to write down, write down five things that you enjoyed the most from the vacations. Write down five things that you enjoyed the most from your vacations. Don't write sleep, 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 okay? No, I, I know you. <laughs> write five different things that you enjoyed from this period of vacations that we had. Write them on your notebook so you can use them and you can read them. Okay, take your notebook and take notes. Five things that you enjoyed the most about your vacations and one thing that you didn't like. Five positive and one negative. five positive sentences and one negative that you didn't like about the vacation. When you have them ready, raise your hand for you to share. Okay, raise your hand when you finish. Okay, okay, when you have them ready, let me know so you can share. <laughs> I can listen to my messages on your cell phones. <laughs> Okay, Jorge is the first one. Go ahead. Uh, five, five things positive about the vacation. First, se me congeló Jorge. Hello. Yeah, I can listen to you. Go ahead. <laughs> Wake up late. Uh, Go to the beach, also spend time with my family, uh, go out in general, and I prefer it better. Okay. One okay. thing negative, uh -huh. there are many people in every place. <laughs> okay. So. 
In this case, Jorge, when we are sharing, as we are sharing things that already happened in the past, we can say, eh, I woke up late. I went to the beach, right? I preferred to eat healthy, right? Or in this case, if you are comparing with the normal form that you eat, you say, I preferred or I ate healthier. I ate healthier. Comí más sano de lo normal, right? Anyway, you say, there are many people on the street. They, there were, because it's an action that already happened, right? There were many people on the streets, right? There were, with T-H-E-R-E, -E, and were, the past tense, right? W E R E. Very good. So thank you, Jorge. Okay. Very good job. Thank you. Claudia Maria, go ahead. Okay. I enjoy stay at home. I also enjoy cooking to my kids. I enjoy watching Netflix series. I enjoy sleep and drink coffee in the afternoon. And I didn't like the end of the vacation and leave my kids again. Hmm. <laughs> yes, that's like the bad part, right? Remember, when you say, I enjoyed, and in this case, after this enjoy, you are going to have an ING form because you are going to talk about the activities that you did, right? That were happening on that moment. You say, I enjoyed cooking. I enjoyed watching. I enjoyed spending time with my kids, right? With ING, right? Because you are describing the activities that you did. So in this case, when you say, I enjoyed uh, cooking, dancing, cleaning, doing everything with my kids. So that's the, the change that I have for your sentences. But very good activities, the ones that you did. Yvette Alvarado, go ahead. Claps for Claudia and Jorge. Yes. Hello. Hi. Um, um, things I enjoy um, travel with my family, eat delicious food. A movie marathon, wake up late, and meet new place. Okay, um, right. Uh -huh. And negative, uh, very short vacation. <laughs> okay. So the same, the same observation. Thank you very much. The same observation that I did to Claudia, right? I enjoyed traveling. I enjoyed having a movie marathon, right? In this case, or when you say, uh, or when you want to express it in a normal form, you say, I had a movie marathon. I traveled, right? If you want to use it in past tense, but if you want to specify that you were enjoying that on that moment, right? So you say, I enjoyed traveling. I enjoyed cooking. I enjoyed visiting. I enjoyed, um, I don't know, uh, having this marathon of movies, right? I did the same. That's pretty awesome. Thank okay. you, Yvette. Very good, very good job. Manuel, go ahead. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I'm going to tell about my vacation. For this holiday, um, firstly, I didn't I didn't have vacation hmm. <laughs> because uh, <laughs> I we had in my work a lot of work. What do you say, atrasado? Um, it was like delayed, 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 delayed okay. work. And besides, and we take a, we took um, advantage in, in these holiday days to make the most of work. But I I took the weekend to to go to the fair in the stadium with my. <laughs> With my daughter, and and uh, to the end of the on Sunday, I I rest a lot of. Uh, for example, I went to sleep at, at eight p.m. <laughs> yeah, at the time of the class, right? <laughs> yes. Me <laughs> mido at eight. <laughs> okay, good. So you went to the fair, right? That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. When you say like to the end, you don't say to the end, you say at the end, right? At, at the, the end. end, right? At the, at end. the end. Or you say, or to finish my vacations, you can use it like that as well. But it was very good. Okay. Very nice, Manuel. Very good. Juan de Dios, go ahead. 
Eh, okay. Firstly, I spend time with my family. And I work in house making arrangements. Uh, I sleep and wake up very late. I watch action movies in the afternoon. And I live of the routines and disconnect to the work. I like. Okay. Uh, neg negative. Uh -huh. uh, finish the vacation very fast, and I'll be back to the to the world. To no. the okay. <laughs> I think we we all agree that was the negative point, right? To finish the vacations, right? Uh, yes. When you say I work in house, you say I work. I worked at home. Right. At I worked home. Okay. at home, and when you say I live out the routine you say i left left i left okay i left the routine behind right i left the routine behind or i went out of the routine i went out of the routine and i disconnected i disconnected from the world that's pretty awesome very good Juan de Dios. very nice miss rocio veronica go ahead okay um well, I didn't have vacations, but uh, I enjoyed that we uh, we don't have we didn't have traffic in the morning yeah. when I went to my job. Yeah, I liked that, and also my family were out, so I had my house, all my house, just for me, <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, I, I like to be alone. My aunt, my aunt. Everybody loves and, that. <laughs> yeah. And I also, I went to sleep early. And I ate delicious traditional food, uh, like elotes locos, empanadas, churros, españoles, and minutas. <laughs> and <laughs> I enjoyed to be in the mass, honoring the divine savior of the world. Hey, um, nice. Yeah, and the bad thing or the thing that I don't like of my vacations, believe me or not, I got flu. I <laughs> know, Veronica again. I'm sick again. You I'm you sick started again. you started the module with the flu and you are going to finish the module with the flu. Yeah, exactly. I don't yeah. know why, but. It's like, I have to say goodbye to teacher Nati. Give me the flu again. <laughs> okay, well, I, I hope I hope you feel better soon. Right? I hope you feel better soon. Did you get did you get wet on the on the holy savior of the world yes. mass? Ah, you see, that's yes. why. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. <laughs> In the middle of the <laughs> Okay, yeah. so be, yeah, be careful and, and rest a lot. Well, very, very good description <laughs> of your vacation. Very nice. Very nice job, Rosie. Very good. Diana Thank Elizabeth, you. go ahead. Good evening. Um, the things I enjoyed were traveling to another country, doing it with my friends, seeing new and colorful places, and eating a lot of new food and the fact that I didn't have to think about work. And what I don't like is that the vacation are over. Oh my God, yeah. What country did you visit? To Guatemala. Hey, that's a very beautiful country. Very colorful and full of traditions. So I, I really love it. Wasn't it very full on the, on the um, customs in a frontera? No, 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 uh, because I went and on Wednesday. Ah, yeah. So you were on uh -huh. the, went on the on the first days. Yeah. Cool. Very nice. Thank you, Diana. Very good job. Very good job. Uh huh. Who's missing on this little <clears throat> exam? Cristia, Tatiana, Carolina. Good evening, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Uh, I didn't have vacation, but uh, uh, I enjoyed uh, one thing. 
and is because we don't have we didn't have English class English class. <laughs> I went to sleep early. Ah. I really enjoyed it. Yes. And <laughs> the other thing, Me too. <laughs> the other thing I enjoyed uh, found my mom in the house when I arrived of my work. Uh, I enjoyed have my day. Uh, as the Saturday was my day off, and I enjoy staying in my house. And the bad thing is, I got a sick since Tuesday. You got <laughs> sick, my God, because yeah. of Rocio. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you see, Rocio, Christian is doing the second hand there on the sickness. <laughs> okay, yes. so you enjoyed uh, finding your mother when you came back home. I, I mean, yeah. there for you. That's very nice. Fantastic. Very nice, Christian. Very good. Excellent. Miss Tatiana? Ah, Carolina, go ahead, go ahead. Go, Carito, and then Tatiana. Hi. In my case, um, I did not uh, leave the house. I was resting, and and the negative thing is that I was at home, uh, and I got a stomach infection. My <laughs> and, and I was resting, and also my dog got sick, so <laughs> so I had to pay her from the emergency emergency room to the oh hospital. And well, I have to be taking care of myself, my me too. <laughs> uh, but oh if you rest. Uh, so it was not a vacation like others. Oh my God. So you were sick and then the dog was sick and, and a sick was taking care of another sick. Oh my yeah. God. Oh my yeah. God, Carito. But are you feeling better now? Una trajo otra, teacher. <laughs> yeah, you know. Sí, primero la infección urinaria, luego la infección estomacal, después la perrita y ay, oh my no. God. <laughs> yeah, we need we need to get some ruda there too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to do a little shower. Uh, uh, una limpia. Una li exactly like that. Oh my god! But but the dog is is she okay now? Eh, the dog eh, very very good. Yeah. Eh, with the medicine okay sí. she's she's getting better she's getting better she, okay. better she is getting better she is getting better very good thank you carolina thank you i'm sorry thank for you. all the things that happened on the vacation yeah. <laughs> tatiana go ahead hello everybody teacher i didn't have vacation actually um, yeah, I <laughs> but, know. but i had my two day off uh, Friday and Sunday. Uh, I really enjoy stay at home. <laughs> really, I, I love that. I prefer that. But on Friday, I went to the Terror Cifco with my <laughs> mom and my son. And it was really nice because we love uh, that, that kind of thing. So it was okay. very funny. Okay. You enjoy the horror things. Yes, but my son was very <laughs> scared. <laughs> we like... went to the, to the Casa del Terror and we thought it was funny, but no, he was very, <laughs> very, very afraid about the, all the, all the, all the performance. So. He was like, uh, what, entre what, hijo, what? no pasa nada. <laughs> all traumatized. Diana, another volunteer. <laughs> For the teacher, when when we were on in the in the house, uh, he roamed and he left me, and I was my son. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> was funny. Motherhood was funny. be like. <laughs> I was taking care of him, and he he just disappeared, and I didn't know where 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 it was. Where it was. That that was the real terror. Right? Yes. Ese yes. Fue, ahí Tatiana sintió el verdadero terror. Yes. <laughs> when, when she was not finding the kid. I was looking for my son and my son. I don't know what oh, Poor him. <laughs> no, he's going to remember that forever. Believe me. Oh my yes, God. Poor kid. Well, Tati, 
and the bad thing about vacation? Mm, I don't know. Everything was fine for me. Uh, even I, I get new schedule on the last week. I start at 8 a.m. So for me, it was very cool because I, I never sleep actually. I, but the last week for me was very relaxed. <laughs> okay, very relaxing. Very nice. Excellent. Thank you, Tati. And who's going to be the last one? Let's see. Nelson, Norma, Linda, Marlene, Omar. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you, Omar. Yay. <laughs> Omar. Hey, don't play with me like that. Thank you. So I am going to ask Norma. Norma, tell me about your vacations. Hmm. On vacation, I spending at home each mm -hmm. uh, doing housework. I think it's more difficult to work at home than work. <laughs> Any other place? Yes. Only that, teacher. Only that. And one bad thing about the vacation? I'm sorry? One bad thing about the vacation is that they finish. Um, uh, six a day. Ah, you um, had six finish? days. Ah, so it was very no, good. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, three days. Ah, three. I said like, oh, wow. <laughs> yes. That's pretty awesome. Well, but you had three days off. Yes, I think that's the that's the most difficult part of the vacation, housework, right? Mostly with the dishes and all that, that they just burn. I don't know how, but they just burn. Yeah, los trastes nacen de la nada. You close your eyes and dishes. You close your eyes, dishes. Close your eyes, dishes. <laughs> and clothes. Dishes and clothes. I think they just grow like the gremlins. Well, my dear class, before we move into the topic of the day, I wanted to do this little activity for us to practice the past tenses, right? For us to go and do activities and to talk about the things in past tense, right? Because it is always good that you go and remember a little bit on the use of the past tenses. So I'm going to call the attendance. Remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? Carolina Jamilet. Present. Claudia Maria. Present. Christian Natalie. Present. Diana Elizabeth. Present. Jorge Humberto. Present. Jose Carlos. Hey, Jose Carlos is not here. And with all this storm. Hmm. Como siempre le caen los rayos ahí atrás del background. José Rodrigo. Eh, Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Ivette. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present. Miguel Ángel. Nelson Cabarrete. I'm here teacher. Norma Carolina. Olga Marleni. Olguita. No, it's not here today. Eh, Rocío Verónica. Present. Silvia Zuleima. En mi teacher. Eh, wait, wait, wait. Rocio, Rosa Beatriz. Present. Okay, okay, okay. No, I was just going down. I was just going down. And let's see, Silvia Zuleima, yes, Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Bill Maivet. Present. Marlene Nicole. Present. Thank you. And Omar Francisco. Omar. Hey, Omar, I cannot listen to you. I can see you there. I can see you connected, but I cannot listen to you. And Danny Anthony, that I see you here, but I cannot listen to you. Okay. 
So Marlene, if you can stay at the end of the class for your one-on-one, -on -one, that would be perfect. If not, you can let me know in the WhatsApp group. Okay, so let's move on business. Today we are going to work, as I said, we're going to work on the adverbs. Today is our class number 21. And remember, right, we need to finish uh, section four before Friday, right? We call the attendance already. And this is what we were doing on the week before leaving vacation, right? Before leaving on vacation, we were working a little bit on the vocabulary for the inventory. And we are going to just to catch up a little bit on what we did that, that day, right? We were doing the matching on the vocabulary and you were working in groups to get the meaning of the words, right? And at the end of the class, we did this matching of all the, the vocabulary, right? And this, it's also part of the platform in unit number four, right? The stock, we were mentioning that it was merchandise kept in a warehouse available for sale or distribution. Inventory tracking, what was inventory tracking people? It was a software system used to keep record of inventory levels, orders, sales, and deliveries. What about the next one? What was point of sale or POS? It was the time and place where a retail transaction is completed. What about restock? What was restock? <laughs> Thank you for the one that is painting there on my... Exactly, right? To replenish. Sorry. Don't worry, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. There you go. There. That's it. nothing. Else. What about a spoilage? A spoilage. With expiration. It's or like even cool, cosmetic or, that can become potent or unusual. Okay. Unusable. 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 If not sold on time. What about part levels? Is the amount that you should that should be available at any time for any item for an item? When an item falls below par, it's replenished, right? Yes. What I was telling you that if you have ten tomatoes, you have to always have ten, right? You cannot have eight tomatoes. You need to have ten or more. And the last ones, first in, first out, the fifth. The oldest inventory items are recorded to be sold first, right? Excellent. So based on this one, right, I am going to give you just four extremely important elements at the moment of working on public speaking. I know you are learning English because you need to use it one day in your life, at your work or at any type of what place that you are going to work, you are going to use English. And the most part of English that you are going to use is speaking, right? So at the moment of sharing your ideas with the public, I want to share with you these four specific elements at the moment of sharing English in the oral form, right? Your message has to be clear. You have to be concise. You have to be confident at the moment of speaking. And for sure, you have to considerate who are you talking to or who are you talking with, right? That's why today, the first thing that I did was to have you speaking, right? At the beginning of this module, right? Si nos vamos por allá, por el principio de los tiempos, el 4 de julio. You were like kind of shy and you were like, yeah, yes, no, yes, no, this, this, that, right? You were very, um, how can I say, very punctual at the moment of speaking, not with a lot of details, but now you are a little bit like clearer, right? You speak a little bit more and uh, you give your messages in a better way. So you conquered this point of life, right? Your message are clearer when you speak. We have to practice a little bit more how to be concise, right? To the point and to what you want to say. And the most important thing, and I have to congratulate you because of this, you are becoming more confident, right? 
I don't know you, but I have seen it, right? Yo, ¿los había visto alguna vez en su vida? Sí o no? No, right? And I really like that you feel confident at the moment of speaking at the class, right? Speaking with me or speaking here with your group. So that's a big, big, big step at the moment of speaking English to feel confident, to feel that you can do it, to feel that you are not better than the other, but you are not less than the other. So that's something that I have worked a lot on you and you are doing it in a very good way. So keep on doing it in the other modules, right? Keep on practicing your English, right? I am not saying goodbye, but I, I am preparing you for the next step, right? Keep working on your confidence, keep practicing because that is one key element for the English language when you speak. And for sure, considerate your audience. It is really important that you know who you are speaking with and who, are you, who you are talking with. At the moment of speaking English for an audience, you have to practice, you have to rehearse, and you have to consider. For example, if you are talking to little kids, you are not going to be talking a very technical English, right? But you are going to use English that they understand. If you are talking to your coworkers that know a little bit of English, you are not going to be like, oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. considerate the audience that you have, right? That is really important. And what is the meaning of this? I have here the definitions. Being clear includes an appropriate tone and pace, right? It means that when you want to be clear at the moment of giving a message, you have to use an appropriate tone of voice in an appropriate pace, right? Imagine that I use my Eminem skills to give the class. You will be like, ah, ¿qué? ¿Qué me dijo? In some cases it happens, right? A veces se me olvida y se me vaya la cuerda. And I start speaking in a very fast way. But you have to consider that. Being concise includes using simple and common language, right? That you use for the purpose that you want to communicate. Also, being confident. ¿Qué significa este? Being confident. Can you help me to read it? Being confident. Includes uh -huh. thinking about your audience. In positive body In confidence includes demonstrating positive body language what is positive body language people i always tell the you right the gestures right gestures. positive body language imagine that you start speaking to a person and this person is like that's not positive body language right also you have to look at people when you speak but you have to look at them, not to stare at them. Do you know what is the difference between looking and staring? ¿Quién me da la diferencia entre looking and staring? I can be looking at all of you, but imagine if I have only one and I'm like, I am staring at you. And I'm like, huh, Jorge. <laughs> mm -hmm. that's staring and that's different because you're the other person is going to feel threatened is going to be like ¿Qué? ¿Qué onda conmigo? ¿Qué te pasa? <laughs> and you have to look at your audience at the moment of speaking English that is one of the most difficult parts when you have these one-on-one -on -one conversations in personal interaction right in person that's the most difficult thing to do to look at the person that you are talking to. Yo eso se lo vivo diciendo siempre a mis estudiantes, a los que están en clase presencial. Digo, hey, ve a la persona que está hablando. So like, yeah, I know English is very nice and everything. And you are looking at the sky. No, look at the person, right? That is going to show that you are being confident, right? With positive body language. And the last one, being considerate includes thinking about your audience. I think about you every single day when I am preparing the classes and I say like, ¿Qué necesitan? ¿Qué les trabajo? ¿Qué les llevo? ¿Qué les traigo? ¿Cómo les, cómo les ayudo? Thinking about your audience, right? So take these four elements of uh, speaking in public, 
right? To be clear, concise, confident, and for sure, to considerate your audience at the moment of speaking, right? Take good advantage of them because you are going to use them. Lo van a usar en algún momento esta semana. So that's why I am teaching you this. <laughs> I never teach you anything just because you are going to use it. So remember them, right? These four points. Clear, concise, confident, and considerate. Okay. Today, we are going to work a little bit on the adverbs, right? Here, I have a full example of adverbs. And I have, for example, outside, quietly, eagerly, weekly, annually, away, loyally, sloppily, rudely, lazily. What is something that adverbs have in common? Can you tell me something that you can see that they have in common? Lee. <laughs> Lee, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. the, L, the L-Y, right? The L-Y. Because most of the adverbs are going to show you a way to do something, right? They say like, um, the, the boys played in a happy way. They played happily, right? She sings really beautiful. She sings beautifully, right? It is like the mente, mente, right? No, the mente. <laughs> it's like bellamente, felizmente, rapidamente, lazily, perezosamente. It's like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. All right, right? So, brutally, brutalmente, right? And really doesn't end in L-Y, okay? No man is it really, también realmente, right? Yes, but it doesn't really, end really, really Lee, right? No, right? So, but gracefully, graciosamente, right? That's the meaning of that. Intentionally, hmm intentionalmente right and we have other types of adverbs that are not considered with the ly but we are going to see them in a moment and we are going to check them on the different things but to start with this i have a couple of questions i have to find someone who eats lunch very slowly from this class who eats lunch very slowly but slowly like, mm, mm. Claudia Maria, do you eat lunch very slowly? Definitely. Why? I don't know. I take my time. You take your time, right? You take your time. How much time do you have for lunch? 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Yes, and you <laughs> But all, uh, everybody eats very quickly and I don't. Okay, <laughs> so you time. you take your All time. my time. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, and where do you eat lunch? Do you eat in front of the computer or in a specific place? Yeah, cafeteria. In the cafeteria. Okay, very good. What about Yvette? Do you eat lunch very slowly? Yes. How uh, much well, time do you have for lunch? One hour. One hour, right? So it takes, yeah, it's like, yeah, that's pretty nice. Who has more than one hour for lunch? <laughs> Only a dreams teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Only my dreams, Rocio. How much time do you have for lunch? Teacher, I have more than an hour. More than an I, hour. Uh, yeah, an hour. Ten minutes, minutes, including preparing this. An hour and a half for Rocio. For <laughs> ten minutes, ten including minutes, going to the microwave. Minutes, but including the <laughs> the microwave the time. Oh my god! Yeah, I think. Well, I don't have any specific time for lunch, but uh, I always eat lunch like in fifteen minutes because I am like. I don't know, I have this karma that I just sit down and it's like, licenciada, mire, and I'm like, 
<laughs> and then I have to go and fix someone's life. So, yes. What about the next question? Someone in the class who speaks English very quickly. Who speaks English very quickly? Diana. Diana? Uh -huh. Who else? Cristian. Cristian? Someone who speaks very quickly? Rocio. Rocio. <laughs> and Diana. No, they, they speak very fluent. Tatiana. Okay. Tatiana, Tatiana speaks English very fast. Yeah. Mostly Diana when, when she was angry the last time <laughs> with the co-worker. <laughs> she was speaking English very fast, right? There is nothing faster than an angry woman. Nothing. Nothing. Or an angry man. <laughs> but they get stuck, right? Los hombres cuando se enojan se traban. It's funny. But they speak fast, right? They speak fast. What about here in the class? Give me one example. Who sings very badly? But badly, like, hmm. Me, teacher. Contento, vamos a ver. Me too. Me too. But well, but to you, when you listen to yourself, it's beautiful. But what, what about when we have the, the headphones or the earphones? Has that happened to you? Nunca les ha pasado. We sing like the, we sing, we sing like the, like the artists. Exactly, like, right? When you have the earphones, you sing exactly. Like Adele. Exactly like <laughs> Adele. But what happens when one falls out? It's like, uy, <laughs> is that me? <laughs> or when somebody talk to you, uh, you tend to scream. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one day it happened to me that I was on a bus. And I just forgot that I was on the bus. And I was singing there and singing and singing. And I was on the bus from the work, right? And all the workers were there, right? And I was like. And then I realized that I was not on a public bus, but on the bus from the company, right? And I was like. El concierto es gratis. <laughs> I was singing there with all the powers. Yeah, but anyway, they are going to remember me forever. Who can draw pictures very well here in the class? Mm -hmm. Who can draw pictures very well? Me. <laughs> Yvette, Yvette can draw pictures. Hey, also, Rosa. More or less. Sí, Rosa. For me. Rosa, yeah. more or less. Juan de Dios, good. Yeah, Rosa. Uh, when I... I aquí. So, so, but in that case, Yvette, for sure, she's an engineer. I mean, she's very good at drawing. And my, she, ha she has to be. My, <laughs> the, grand, my grandma uh, take me a libreto? Uh, a note, notepad. Yeah, yeah, draw, draw. For me, draw in... in in this uh, note? note notepad oh so she gave you the notepad for you to draw and that's how yes. you started oh fantastic no, no because i mean uh, me like draw ah because she, you because i like drawing you say because i like drawing so she gave it she, to you yes yeah. oh. uh, when when the people visit she uh, Mostrava. She showed, showed. She showed my pictures. Ah, um, it was like, oh nice. It was yeah. like, vean los dibujos de la niña. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> wow, fantastic. So Rosa is also very good at drawing. She's a teacher for sure. She's very good at drawing. I am good with the palito thing. Yeah. <laughs> I am good. Tell me, who goes to sleep easily every night? Easily is that you put your head on the pillow and then you're off. I me, teacher. I me, teacher. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Teacher without will or conscience. <laughs> it's like, ah, Carolina. <laughs> yeah. Bye, students. Bye. 
como sí, piedras claro, al día sí, siguiente. Sí. <laughs> you know, I, I had a friend, I had a friend that he was so good at falling asleep on the buses that I really admire his capacity. But he was just like sitting down and then was like, oh, like, oh, la teacher. Okay. <laughs> it was automatic. <laughs> so that's to fall asleep easily. Who has difficulties to fall asleep? Yvette, who else? Uh, Rocio, but when you fall asleep, you fall asleep. <laughs> I fall asleep everywhere. <laughs> In the bath. Yeah, I, I also, one time I, I fall asleep stand up. <laughs> because I was very, very tired. Because I didn't sleep well because I was in the in the in my university, so I have. So you fell hard... asleep. You fell asleep standing. It was yeah. like <laughs> I I I I was uh, stand up and I have a a, a wall. Uh, we <laughs> had uh, yeah behind yeah. Christmas. <laughs> and you uh, fell asleep. So I was. And then, yeah, and then I fall asleep. Oh my goodness. And, my, my, and the, the idea to be a stand up was not to sleep. Uh, <laughs> and the, the, idea, the idea to stand up was for you to keep awake, right? To stay awake. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it didn't awake. work. It didn't yeah. work. <laughs> what about work. the next one? Who wakes up every morning happily? Who wakes up every morning mm. happily? No, this doesn't exist, teacher. Mm. <laughs> it's like, hola, que hola. Happily, no, teacher. But you wake up. <laughs> That's like the part. But the, don't you, don't you, don't you? Maybe wake up very every morning. Yeah, when you wake up every morning. But don't you wake up happy, people? My granddad. <laughs> Your grand, no. for sure. <laughs> Everyone happily. Yeah. I wake up happy most of the time. <laughs> I am like, yay, another day. <laughs> and no, then I remember. You want to wake up at 30 in the morning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, when I have to wake up earlier than usual, I am not very happy. But when I wake, wake up in my normal time, yeah, I am like. Eight. And uh, six, <laughs> no, six. I am going out. I wake up at around five, five in the morning. That's the latest because at 6 30, I have to run to the kindergarten. So it's like, yeah. uh, 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 not happy. And what about the last one? Who comes to English class excitedly every day? Manuel. <laughs> That's Manuel it. teacher. Manuel, definitely. Manuel. <laughs> Rocio. So Jorge is always on time. He's the first one to connect all the time, right? But I think yeah. all of you, right? Yeah, when you are like bothering the other, yay, Your all of friend. you. Uh, I, I stay late in my class when I go to the church because I, I go by my motorcycle but when when it's raining or oh, oh, i was i i i i have to uh, to wait yeah for sure you have to wait for the rain to come yeah. a little bit so yes you can come to class very good so i think all of you come very excited to the class the adverbs the adverbs are very important because they give you and they help you to give additional information about who you're talking what you're talking about, where the things are taking place, also when, why, and also how. That's why I was asking you the question, who wakes up happily every day? And I say, me, why teacher? Ah, because I have another opportunity, another day to live. When, every single day, how? Just like, I just wake up like that. <laughs> I am one of these uh, strange, human who wake up with the first alarm they say that they are dangerous so i am i just listen to the first alarm and pooch, i go and i leave the phone very far from the bed so i have to go and walk and get it 
And so it works. And I have here one example. Do you eat lunch very slowly? Yes, I do. Why do you eat lunch slowly? Because I have a two hour lunch break every day. So what is the reason this lady eats lunch slowly? Because she, uh, she has two hours lunch. When? Every day. How long is the break? Two hours. What is she eating? Lunch, right? I answer all the questions thanks to this example that I have here. So based on this one, I am going to keep on showing you a little bit more on the adverbs. And here I have them. Just give me one second to find them. Okay, here it is. Here. Can you help me, Carolina, to read the information? Okay. Adverbs uh, are two words that qualify, modify a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. Okay, very good. Yvette, how many types of adver adverbs do we have? Uh, there, are, there, there are eight types of adverbs which are as follows. Adverbs of time, adverbs of frequency, adverbs of place, adverbs of manner, adverbs of degree, adverbs of affirmation and, neg and negation. 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 Adverbs of reason and, and interrogative adverbs. Excellent. Interrogative adverbs. What are the interrogative adverbs, people? What comes to your mind oh. when you listen to interrogative oh. adverbs? Why, oh. when, why, when, what? Exactly what? like that. Adverbs of frequency. Time. Uh -huh. uh, sometimes. Sometimes. So, always. Always. Never. 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 Um, usually. Usually. Frequency. Oh, fre uh, frequently. Frequently. Frequent. Very good. Adverbs of degree. Do you have any idea okay. of this one? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Adverbs of degree. <laughs> I know the adverbs of degree in <laughs> Google. <laughs> yeah. Sure. If you don't, um... yeah, sure, sure, teacher. Sure. <laughs> if you okay. don't remember them, I am going to give you some examples. Okay. Aquí yo sabía que no me iban a traer ejemplos. Huh? I am going to give you some, right? Here, I have a couple of definitions, right? Adverbs have different types according to what you want to express or what you want to say. The time adverbs, Juan de Dios, help me with this one. Time adverbs tell us about when something happens. Already, now, soon, tomorrow, etc. Exactly like that, right? Tell us about when something happens. Already, now, soon, yesterday, later, right? Etc. What about the place adverbs? Manuel, go ahead. Uh, the place adverbs are ones that describe where something happens or where something is here, there, Oster, nearby, etc. Nearby, right? It's like nearby. there, here, right? Over there, upstairs, downstairs, on the floor, on the wall, right? Those are place adverbs. What about manner adverbs, Yvette? Um, tell us about the way something happens or is done. Careful. Badly, slowly, quietly, quickly, etc. Et right? Carefully. Where can you use this adverb? In which case? When you are managing objects, for example, when you are treating a kid, right? When you are carrying a baby, right? You have yeah. to be, you have to deal with it in a very careful way. So you have to do it carefully. When can you oh, use badly? I think 
When I sing a song, badly. When you're singing, right? It's badly, right? Or badly. in most of the cases when your mother says that you have to do something, right? Siempre que su mamá le diga que va a ir a hacer algo, <laughs> we always do it badly, right? Badly. Quítate, lo voy a hacer yo. They say, <laughs> because you're not doing it in the correct way. It's like, doblar la bolsa, sí. And then you're like, no, it's not like that, right? And they are going to tell you something loudly because, for sure, I think most Salvadorian families have this uh, magic to be really loud and to speak loudly. It's like, hoy la teacher tiene a toda la familia en su casa. It's like, wah, 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 wah. Because we are always loudly. We are never quietly, right? And quickly when you want the things to be done for yesterday right Quick. fast very fast what about the frequency adverbs christian are ones that describe how often something is done always never usually sometimes etc very good job right those are the frequency adverbs what about the next ones and i am going to ask diana to help me to read this one Focusing adverbs, point to something, especially, just, only, simply, etc. Okay, when you point to something, right? When you point to something, especially, right? All the students are good, especially the ones that I have. Okay, all the students are good, but just the ones that I have are better. All the students are good, but only the ones that I have are the best. All the students are good, but the ones that I have are simply the best. So I gave you all the examples of focusing on a point. Quantity adverbs. Quantity adverbs. Rosie, can you help me, Rosa Beatriz? Express the degree to which something is done. Okay. Or is many more, fewer, a lot, etc. Okay. Express the degree to which something is done. Many, more, fewer, a lot, etc. Right? Quantity, because you're expressing an amount. And the last one, Tatiana, degree adverbs. Express degrees or of qualities, properties, states, condition, and relations. Very, too, lots, enough, etc. Okay, very. They are also called intensifiers, right? You say like that she is beautiful, but it's not the same as you say that she is very beautiful, right? It's not the same. You can say like, no, he was ugly, but it's like, hmm, he was very ugly. Or is it like, it's big, like the house is big and I am good at cleaning, but if it is too big, it's like, oh my God, it will take forever, right? Enough. Do you have money? Yes. Do you have enough money? Yes, I do, right? Enough, sufficient. So those are some of the categories of the adverbs, but I'm going to keep on explaining a little bit more. Based on this one, right? We have the different categories. We have time, place, manner, frequency. We have focus, quantity, and degree. Based on this one, I have this little example. Help me to classify the verb in the correct category. Write it on your notebook. Manner and the adverb. Frequency, the adverb that you consider. Degree, the adverb that you consider. Quantity, the one that you consider. And then you're going to see if you have the correct answer. Go ahead. As I cannot play music for the game, like the the first one manner is carefully. Okay, okay, okay. We have one that Juan de Dios says that it's carefully. Okay, finish all of them. Finish them. Finish them. Ya no dio copia del primero.
Okay. Did you finish with all of them? ¿Ya terminaron con todos? All of them? No. Okay, I'm going to give you one more minute. One more minute. Okay, I can see that two or three of you have already finished. Okay, I am going to send you the picture of the exercise. And we're going to deliberate, right? I'm going to send you to the groups for one minute for you to deliberate and to share with your classmates to see if you have the same answers. Let's go and deliberate right now. Les envié la foto al grupo para que no me digan, no la tengo, teacher. Compare your answers. Okay, Rocio, didn't you receive my invitation? Omar, did you receive my invitation? Thank you. Mr. Omar, did you receive my invitation? Yes, I don't know if time is usually or first. Frequency is usually, the teacher said. Okay, frequency I have usually. And for the time, I have first. 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 Yes. And for place, I have nearby. 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 Herbie, Herbie, <laughs> nearby, <laughs> nearby, <laughs> nearby, uh -huh. nearby. How do you say necios? 
<laughs> well, um, hey, let me. I, I need to find a way for for it to be <laughs> nice. Let me look for another one, because okay. yeah, because in many of of the cases, these words are not kind, right? Como cuando yo vengo y le diga, que necio esto, bicho. <laughs> That's not um, pedagogically correct. <laughs> okay. But yeah. So did you compare okay. all of them? Nearby. Yes. Uh, no, the degree is I, I have enough. Fairly. 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 What is the correct? Fairly. Uh huh. Where do you have it? Degree? I have enough. Degree? Where have you placed fairly? Degree. 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 I have fairly in focusing. Thing. Imagine if I say how, how difficult it is. You say like, yeah, it's quite difficult. It's fairly difficult, right? It's really difficult. It will be in a level that will be in the, close, in the closest for degree. Yes. Degree. Oh, okay. Quantity. I have enough. Mostly. For which one? Mostly. Quantity. Mostly. Mostly. Okay. No, quantity yeah. enough. Enough. Uh huh. Yes, enough. Quantity is enough. Yes. Okay. I am going to check on the next groups to see if they have finished. Okay. okay. Give your answers. Give your answers. Point to something, especially just only simply. Uh -huh. Where the example? Do you have the Do you have the answers? We're not sure. <laughs> About which one? About Fairly. focusing. Uh -huh. Focusing. What do you have on focusing? Fairly. Fairly. Um. Uh, it's, it's fairly incorrect. <laughs> it's oh. somewhat it's somewhat incorrect, right? Thirdly, it is very common when you talk about uh, levels, right? So it's easy. fairly good. Uh -huh. So you say it's fairly good. It's fairly correct, right? Fairly, somewhat, okay. right? It's degree. Fairly is for yeah. degree. For degree, okay. What about, uh, what do you have for, for focusing? We have fairly, but in degree we have enough. Enough? Yes. In which cases do you use enough? I was giving you the example of the money. Yes, in quantity. 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 Do you have enough money? It's like, no, I only have $10. So it's like, mm, that's not enough. Right, the quantity. Good, good, good. Another one. Sure. Yep. But enough is in the example for degree adverse yes. in your in your uh, in, in my slides. In my slide, yes. Yes. But in that in this case, I have enough as well. You can use it as well. In this case, we have it for quantity. So mostly has to be focusing. Focusing, right? Mostly. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So, any other question that you have? No. No. Okay, so let's oh. go back to see if all the other ones have already finished. Okay. Let's go back to the groups. Let's see. Ah, 
I was giving you the secrets of life with the microphone off. Okay, let's go back to the screen that I was sharing with all of you. Here we go. And we're going to share the answers that you have. Okay, there you go. Good. What adverb do you have for manner, people? Carefully. 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 For frequency? Usually. 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 What about for time? First. 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 Don't say first, okay? First, no. Cada vez que decimos first, llora un libro. Right? <laughs> first. 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 No, right? Say first. First. It's like parents. You say parents. Parents, parents, okay, mm. good. And then nearby, right, nearby. Nearby. <laughs> nearby. What about nearby. place? Nearby. 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 nearby, right? What about degree? And here we have Barely. two. Barely. 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 We can nearby. have. Enough. Enough and also fairly, right? We have the two options that we can have in degree. I what about quantity? <laughs> Enough. 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 And focusing? Mostly. 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 Right? Mostly. Mostly. Fuck you. Ay, no, okay. todo, todo. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I am. I am. Ya ve, los del grupo no me ayudaron aquí a Carolina a corregir. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó? No, yo tengo malo varios. <laughs> Look at this, right? <laughs> Carefully, right? Ah, quiero ver. Usually. Okay. First. Nearby, fairly enough, right? Quantity enough and focusing mostly. This is just the warm up for the exercise. Would be quantity mostly or not, teacher? Quantity. Mostly? No. Mostly. Well, okay. in this case, I have fuck it is well focusing is for mostly and for quantity we have a no we don't have mostly for quantity no it's mostly and here we go the this one focusing mostly all the students are good mostly the ones that are always reading right we are focusing on that specific group of students and for degree, we can have a, enough or fairly, right? And for quantity as well. This was the warm up for the adverbs, right? Here, I have a lot of other examples. Don't worry about copying all of them, right? No lo vayan a copiar todo. se lo pueden mandar? No se preocupe. For these ones, we have the adverse of manner, right? The adverse of manner, in this case, it's beautifully, bodily, bravely, calmly, carefully, cautiously, cheerfully. Ah, there was someone who was asking me a question. Antes de que se me olvide, se lo voy a enviar al chat. How do you say necio in English, you say? It's a stubborn. There you go. Ya se los envié al chat. Stubborn. Es necio. Necio, querida. Stubborn. There you go. Eh, you have cheerfully, joyously, eagerly, gladly, easily, elegantly, equally, faithfully, frankly, honestly, generously, gently, justly, kindly, neatly, obediently, patiently, openly, and perfectly. Most of them come from an adjective, right? As you can see, you have beautiful, beautifully, bold, boldly, descabelladamente, right? Brave, valiente, bravely, calm, calmly, careful, carefully, right? Cheerful, cheerfully. Most of them come and, der and derive from an adjective. 
right? Muchos de los adverbs of manner vienen de un adjetivo, right? And the adverbs of time are different, right? Always, already, annually, before, constantly, daily, earlier, eventually, finally, right? Generally, hourly, just later, monthly, now, normally, right? What about the next one? The adverbs of place. We have above, abroad, along, away, back, behind, below, debajo de, right? Downstairs, al bajar la escalera, right? East, far, here, indoors, inside, nearby, and we have many more examples, right? Overseas, al otro lado del, del océano, right? Europe, for example, is overseas, right? Somewhere, there, under, underground, and up. And the adverse of frequency, that in this case, we have two specific forms of adverse of frequency, definite and indefinite. Definite frequency are the ones that you can use with a specific time. For example, if you say every morning, that's a specific frequency. But the ones that you have indefinite frequency are like often, how do you know what is often, right? Often puede ser cada dos días, cada tres, cada cuatro, cada mes. We never know, right? Frequently, you say. Generally, sometimes, you say. Cada cuánto salís a correr. Eh, sometimes. I go running sometimes. Yes, uh -huh. sometimes one time in the year, right? But if you ask Jorge, you say like, no, I frequently go running. Right? But if you ask, for example, eh, how often do you paint your house? So you say, I uh, paint my house uh, once a year. That's definite frequency. Solo una vez al año. Because if you say, ah, occasionally, it's like, ah, o fin de semana voy a pintar la casa. Right? No, right? You don't do that. You don't normally do that, right? And we have other types of adverse of frequency, like hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, annually, right? So in this case, you have also this type of adverse of definite frequency. I am going to share the little chart with you, right? For you to have it. And here I have a little exercise. I have a little exercise that we are going to do together. And I need you to tell me what is the adverb on each of the sentences. I need you to pay attention and to make a list from 1 to 15. Hagan una lista del 1 al 15 y escriban solo el adverb, okay? Only the adverb. For number one, what is the adverb? For number two, what do you think is the adverb? For number three, four, five, six, seven. Don't copy the complete sentence. Only the one that you consider is the adverb. Let's do the first one together. What is the adverb in the first sentence? The boy? Careless. Careless? Two. Ha, ah, two. This is the adverb, right? Two. Because it expressed the way he was, right? Expresa mm -hmm. la manera de como fue poco cuidadoso. That's like too careless, right? The boy is too careless. Careless in this case with an adjective, right? An, an adjective. An adjective. It's like, it's too careless. It's like, ah, no. And this is intensifying the form of the adjective, okay? This is working with this one. Let's do the same with the next ones. Write the number and the adverb. Strong. A strong. Do you think no, it's strong? Very, 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 very. Ah. Very, okay. Okay, y aquí si les pregunto, ¿cómo eran los vientos? Muy fuertes, right? Very strong. Very strong. But in this case, a strong, it's an adjective. And very is the intensifier that we are using as an adverb, right? Very. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> um, <laughs> I was like, um. <laughs> how 
how did the baby sleep? Soundly. 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 What soundly. is the meaning of soundly? What is the meaning of soundly? Soundly. <laughs> when you are? Que ronca. <laughs> no, <laughs> Aha, but what happens? What do people say that you, that you start snoring when you are deeply asleep, right? Cuando ya estás totalmente dormido, it's soundly. Soundly will be profundamente. Mm -hmm. The baby slept soundly. Soundly. Falling asleep, right? <laughs> Yeah, I remember when my kid was was uh, a little baby. I was like, "Está dormido, no despierta, ¿qué le pasa?" <laughs> and he was like, "It was." And I was checking on him. He was like, "Está bien, <laughs> no despierta." A ver si respira. A ver si respira. <laughs> exactly like that. But he was sleeping soundly. Soundly. I this. sleep soundly. <laughs> yes. Cosa de mamá, teacher. Cosa soundly. De mamá. <laughs> so, Rocio sleeps soundly. Do you snore, people? Do you snore? No. Do you snore? I don't know, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> we will never say no until someone comes and proves the, the opposite. Danita is tired today. All of us. <laughs> I think yeah. When we come back from vacation, it's very hard, right? But hopefully, mm -hmm. tomorrow will be different. In this case, for example, sentence number four is say the soldiers, right? This is the subject of the sentence. Fought. What will be fought? A verb. The A verb. The verb. The word. Uh, a noun. A noun. A noun, right? And Valiantly, the adverb. Yeah. It's the yeah. adverb, right? It's the adverb. What about the next one? Joy. So always, always, right? In this always. case, always is the adverb. Tries. It's the verb, and his best is the complement of the sentence, right? What about the next one? Surely, surely, surely. right? Surely. surely. It, it's not because of the ly, right? But it was easy. Surely, you is the subject, the verb, and uh, the complement of the verb, right? The this is the auxiliary and the verb. Surely, you are mistaken, right? Está equivocado. The next one. The movie is to end soon. It's going soon, 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 soon. soon right? It's going. I, I was I was going to write going sorry soon your friend message again again again. again again what about the next one i did my homework already already already, already. already. very good i was rather busy He's He's rather busy, busy. Rather. What, rather what is busy. what is busy Adjective. It's an adjective. And rather. I uh, is a subject, was, it's the, the verb, answer. and rather, in this case, is the adverb. The adverb. Is oh. your mother within? Within. Within, within right? Within. What is the meaning of within? Tic -tac, tic -tac, contigo. Contigo. Very good. Mm -hmm. We look for the lost puppy everywhere. 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 Where did you look for the last puppy? Everywhere. 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 We do not completely know her. Completely. Completely. Completely, completely right? Huh? Cuando llega la nuera a la casa. Hmm, we do not completely know her because you don't want her there. How long is the trip? Long. 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 Oh. How, very good, how, because it's an interrogative adverb. Long is an adjective, right? Is is the verb and the trip is the noun. Monica seldom visits here. Seldom. 
sell, sell them. them, right? Sell them. Monica, sell them, visits here. Sell them is like mm -hmm. casi nunca, right? She seldom mm -hmm. visits here. Good, very good job, my dear class. Very good job finding the adverb. Was it very difficult? Not really, right? I have it here, right? But it's just like, I have the answers back. Okay, let me erase my pictures and are the ones that we already uh, mark. So now that we did this exercise together, we are going to do the following in a little group, okay? Say out, before, quickly, often, forward, once, pretty, and somewhat. In this case, I have two and so. I have 10 different sentences, right? I have 10 different sentences and I'm going to send you back with your group and I need you to complete the sentences, right? I need you to complete the sentences. I give you the adverbs here and I am going to send them to you again for you to complete them, right? For you to mark them there and complete the exercise. Let me send it to you here. There we go. And I'm going to send it to the group. I am going to send you back with the same group that you were working. Vamos a volver al mismo grupo con el que estábamos. And we're going to work just to make the matching of Yo the creo. Me too. <laughs> and we're going to do the matching, right? We're going to do the matching of the following adverbs. If you have a screenshot of it, that would be perfect, right? Si no, ahorita se los envío yo a todos. There you go. There you have it in the group. We're going to go back to the same group that we were working with and you are going to work together. I need you to complete the sentences with the words that are there on the little box, okay? Let's go to work together. Very well. Okay, in this exercise, students are going to complete the sentences that I presented right here with the correct form of the adverb. Let's go and see how they are doing in the different groups.
Hello, how are you doing? Hello. We are working on it. Okay, good, very good. Yes. My grandpa is. Uh, my grandpa. Oh, there is three. No. I was come to visit us. <laughs> You are fighting with your grandpa. Yes. <laughs> two, two. Two better. Mm -hmm. Can we say two better? No. No. How do you say that it's a uh, un poquito? Pretty better. <laughs> no. Pretty no. better is like muy, muy bien. Muy, in that case, will be muy mejor. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Once. Una vez. Una vez. Bien. Somewhat. 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 Somewhat is like somewhat better, right? It's like I feeling somewhat better, right? It's a little bit. A little bit. De alguna okay. medida, right? En alguna medida. Más o menos, you say. Okay. It's like, imagine if you had a terrible flu and now you are feeling, yeah, you are going out of it. It's like, I am somewhat better. Like, it's our, our very well-known, más o menos, somewhat better. More, less. more or less, uh -huh. it's like more it's or less. It's similar to. It is similar to more or less, <laughs> but you cannot say more or less with better. But with better, you can use somewhat better. Somewhat better. Okay. Somewhat, yeah, am I, I am feeling somewhat better, right? Okay. I met a magician once. Okay. I met a magician once. That he came and stole my heart, you say. Oh. <laughs> ah, what a magician. <laughs> A magician. Ambition urges. Ambition urges us. For well, what is the only one? <laughs> the only one that you are missing. Yes. Yes, but do I. You, think do you know is... what it's? Do you know what's yes. the meaning of ambition? Ambition. Ha! Uh -huh. Urge us. Forward. Ah, yeah. when you say like urge, like vamos Diana, vamos, 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 pulse, 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 Diana, Diana, shh, shh, shh. that's urge, right? Urge, no, empuja, nos mueve, hacia. Adelante. Yes. So Very. it's okay. <laughs> Very good. We're going to check in a second, right? We're going to check. Let me see if the last one have finished. Okay. Hello. It's me. Hello, teacher. Hi. Questions? No, we finished. You finished? Oh, nice. What about the one with the grandpa? Uh, forward. forward. Can you say forward better? Hacia adelante forward mejor. <laughs> Mi abuelo es hacia adelante mejor. <laughs> Or could be... Which one? Um, um, is... Un poco. Somewhat. 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 Somewhat better, Somewhat. right? Un poco. Somewhat better. Somewhat, Somewhat better, right? Un poco mejor. Okay. <laughs> um, number 10, we can use forward, ambition. Ah, or just what, is, what is the meaning of ambition? Ambition. Uh -huh. It is when you want more and more and more. And what is urge? Urge is like when someone is pushing you to do something. You'll be like, vaya, Humberto, va, 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 Jorge, pulse, 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 pulse. That's uh -huh. urge. Forward, right? Ambition, urge oh. us forward. Because if you want more, you are going to do it. And you are going to move forward because it's the ambition, right? 
Let's go and let's check on all the other groups. Let's go back. Welcome, welcome. And here we have, here we have our sentences of the night. <laughs> Poor grandpa, he was the one giving a lot of problems to everybody. It was very hard. <laughs> yeah. He was funny because you say like, you cannot say my grandpa is out better today. Can you take your grandfather out for him to be better? My grandpa is out better today. <laughs> Freezing. <laughs> My grandpa is quickly better today, right? My grandpa is often better today. It's pretty better. No, it's not possible. But let's check on the rest of the sentences. What about the first one? Who can help me with the, with the first one? Ria. Ria ran to her mother quickly. Ria ran to her mother quickly, right? It was like, my mom, yeah, quickly, right? The scores are? Four, one. Out. Okay. Out. Out. The scores out. are out, okay? For example, at the university, when you go to your licenciado, or licenciado and the grades, out. They are outside on the door, right? The scores are out. We have met before. 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 We have met before. We have met. Yeah. The next one. I know him. Pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty well right? I know him pretty well. Very good. The next one. The baby is. So, so, sleepy. Too sleepy. It's so sleepy. Too the sleepy. Baby is too so. sleepy, right? We're going to check it in a moment. The naughty boy is so annoying. So annoying. Aha, there you have your answer, right? The baby is too sleepy. It's like mm -hmm. all the time, right? Ah, the naughty boy is so annoying. Do you know what's the meaning of naughty boy? Niño malcriado. Exactly mm -hmm. like that. Niño malcriado, niño travieso, right? It's like, and oh. it's not but used to when you are talking about bad. Yes. Yeah, when you say like bad. that he's like evil, naughty, it's like, gosh. But in this case, like the naughty boy is like, ay, que niño, más malcriado, más travieso, más malo. I think it goes in the, in the package, right? Entra en el paquete de los malvados. My aunt comes to visit us before. Often. Often. My aunt comes to visit us before, right? No, it's not possible. My grandpa is somewhat. 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 Un poco, right? Better today. I met a magician once. 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 Ambition urged us forward. Forward. forward, right? La ambición nos lleva hacia adelante, right? And here you have quickly, out, before, pretty, too, so, often, somewhat, once, and forward. And the last exercise that we're going to do together. Here, we are going to identify the type of adverb. This is a little bit more challenging. A little bit more challenging. What type of adverb are we using? Here, first, we're going to identify them. What is the adverb on each sentence? And then we're going to analyze which type of adverb is. What about the first one? What is the adverb that we have in the first sentence? The boy practiced his speech? Regularly. Regularly, regu regularly. 
What about the next one? What is the adverb on the next one? Constantly. Constantly. Constantly, right? What about the next one? Manuel, tell me. Uh, Your microphone's ready. It's off. <laughs> Teacher, uh, out. Out. Number three. Out. <laughs> yes, and I was like, I was waiting for the question. <laughs> out. The people are out. The attendance, also the attendance teacher. I am going to take it in a second. <laughs> yes, I remember. I have heard this story before. before. Before, right? What about the next one? Quiet. Quiet. Are you quite sure? Are you quite sure? What about the next one? Two. 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 Ah, Two. in this case we have? Two. Two. Too carefully. What about the next one? Always. 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 I'll always try always. my best, right? The next one. Quiet. 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 This one is not uh, quiet. It's quiet, right? Quiet. quiet. He solved the quiet. problem quickly. 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 Quickly, quickly right? I have heard. Enough. 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 I have heard enough. Right. enough. The boy often makes the same mistake. Often. 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 Okay. What about the next one? Why are you still here? Why? 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 Very good. I could hardly recognize him. Hardly. 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 Right? I can hardly recognize him. The next one. Two. 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 Too shy Two. to sing. Okay. The little kid is too shy to sing. What about the next one? The horse away. galloped away. 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 Place. Away. <laughs> he far ran away. Far away. Far, far away. Before. Far. Continuing, I'm going to call the attendance. Okay. Ante que nada suceda. Thank you, Manuel, for being my reminder. I am going to miss you a lot. Definitely. Carolina Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria. Present, teacher. Christian Natalie. Present, teacher. Diana Elizabeth. Present. Jorge Humberto. Present. Jose Carlos. Jose Rodrigo, Juan de Dios, present teacher, Linda Ivet, present teacher, Manuel Antonio, here teacher, present, you say very good, eh, Miguel Ángel, eh, Nelson Gabarrete, present teacher, Norma Carolina, present teacher, Olga Marleni, Olguita. Eh, Rocío Verónica. Present. Thank you. Okay. En Rosa Beatriz. Present. Silvia Suleima. Present. Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Bill Maivet. Present. Marlene Nicole. Omar Francisco and Danny Anthony. Present. Thank you, Omar. Yay, I listened to your voice. I was all the night waiting for, for, it, for that, waiting to listen to you. Okay. So, hey, I lost them. Wait, well, I'm going to go back. Here. Como me salí del compartir, se me borraron las marcas. Um, that's so sad. Well, but we have the different adverbs. What about the first one? When you say regularly, what type of adverb do you think it is? Frequency. Frequency. Ha. Huh. Constantly? Frequency. Frequency. What, what would be constantly? Time. Okay. Or quantity. <laughs> quantity, constantly. Time. Time. He does that constantly. 
Okay, but we're going to see. What about out? Place. Place. Uh, before? Time. 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 Quite? Mm. Manner, it can Three. be. We're Manor. going to see. I have the answers for you. Don't worry. Carelessly. Carelessly. Manner. Manner. Manner, right? How was how was he driving? Carelessly. Always. Time. Time. Right. Time. Time or frequency, right? Quite. Manner. Manner. Quickly. Time. How did he solve the problem? Quickly. Frequency. Time. Okay, I am going to show you the answers in a moment. Enough. Quantity. 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 Often. Frequency. 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 Why? Frequency. Interrogative. Hardly. Hardly. Manner. 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 Okay, two. Play. Mm, not really. And away. I have here the answers for you. Regularly, it's an adverb of frequency. Constantly, it's an adverb of frequency. Out, it's an adverb of place. Before, time. Quite, degree, right? I was quite sure, right? Degree. Two, degree, right? It's too big, too small, right? I'll always frequency. frequency. What about the next one? Quite, degree, quickly, manner, enough, degree, often, frequency, why, interrogative, hardly, manner, or frequency. What about two? Degree, in a way, place, right? It's an adverb yeah. of place. On your book, on your book, you have the following definition for the different adverbs, right? And here we have all the ones that I was mentioning. On the book, you only have the ones for L-Y, but I wanted to go a little bit in deep on the topic, right? No me gusta siempre dejarles como el tema así como bien superficial. There is a lot more to know, right? And I really like to go and show you these specific sentences, right? The adverbs, we use them to communicate when, when, uh, where, why, how, how often, how much, and to what degree. And here we have a couple of examples that we're going to finish our class with them. Claudia Maria, help me to read the first example that I have here. Organize your inventory efficiently. Efficiently, right? Very good job. What about the next one? Nelson. Okay. Record information accurately. 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 Quality. Accurately okay. is like puntual, cuidadosamente. Accurately. Check Quality. for possible improvement. Consistently. 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 All the time, bro. You have to be looking for it all the time. The next one. Revise processes. Slowly. Slowly. Slowly, right? Slowly. You don't have to run on this. Slowly. Slowly. The next one, communicate with your distributor. Regularly. Regular. Regularly. 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 Change your inventory practices. Incrementally. Incrementally, Incrementally right? You have to go constantly look for an improvement, right? And here you have the, ad the, the adjective. Efficient and Lee, you say efficient, efficient, accurate, efficiently, Accur and Lee, accurately, accurately. accurately. Consistent. consistently, 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 consistently. Okay, so consistently. here you have the example that you have on your book, but I really wanted to go a little bit further on the topic. Now you know a little bit more about the adverbs and the different uses that they have. What is the best form to identify an adverb? For sure, when you have a sentence and 
when you say, for example, here in this case, when you have a sentence and you did what I, what I did before with you, and you say, for example, here, you say, the boy, no, the boy is the noun, you say, practice, practice is the verb, his speech yeah. is the complement, and regularly, that's the adverb. Adverb. Okay, because you have the L-Y. So, cada, cuando tenemos una oración así, tenemos que identificar partes específicas de speech o de grammar, vámonos así, las, vamos, las podemos ir cortando así. Ah, the boy, no, esto es un noun. Practice, es el verbo. His speech, ah, it's a complement. Regularly, it's an adverb. Regular, it's an adjective. So, you can do the little identification marks. Well, my dear class, all for today and I am going to see you tomorrow to practice a little bit more on the conversations right Ad adverbs in conversations and in interactions have a beautiful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next class I was Bye. going to stay Bye. with Marlene Bye. and she left Bye. good night, Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. have a beautiful night have a nice night teacher have a nice night have a good night I was mm -hmm. going to stay with Marlene and she left. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, Claudia Maria, tell me. What is the noun of distributor? Here, it's let me just show no, it. In el, in el... Ah, the noun. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Me Boy. siempre me sale mal. Voy, espérame. Ahorita lo abrimos. And here I have it. Good. Let's see. For number four, you say. We see. Sí. You're great. <laughs> Part Sorry. three. Wait. I am going to. Sh okay. Section four. No. And final exam. Ah, the final. Okay. Here. Here we go. Wait. Okay. The final exam. Part three. Yes. Here, manufacturer, manufacturer, es, right? Supply, manufacturer. supplier. Manufacturer, the manufacturer is ER, manufacturer. Here you have manufacturer, right? With capital or with no capital? Ah, yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, manufacturer. Supplier? Sí, es thing. Supplier. Distributor? It's sí. the same. Sí. Distribute, distributor. Maybe you wrote distributor, but it's distributor with O. Oh. <laughs> and wholesaler, right? And seller. Most of them finish with ER, but in the case of distribute, you say distributor with O R. That is like a little trick there. Okay, but for most of them, there you have manufacturer, supplier, distributor wholesaler, seller, right? Yes. Those are the ones that we have there. Okay. Only that one, you have issues with, um, with that one? I think, yes, only that. Only that one, so you completed all the rest. Yes. For part number four, it's, it's well, this is what we did on the previous class. Yes. Part uh -huh. number two, the adverbs of frequency, the, the adverbs that we have just started, right? And yes. in part number one, we have, a, well, we did this one as well, right? The restock, stock, we check it out today. Okay, do we have any, any further question, Claudita? No, that's all. Okay, it was a pleasure to help you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, have a Good beautiful night. night. Bye. Bye-bye. Mr. Danny Anthony, can you listen to me? Okay. Today's one on one was for Marlene, but uh, she disconnected. We couldn't have it together. So, uh, I am going to stay and wait. If I have any response from Danny.
Mr. Danny, I have been trying to reach you on the phone, but I have no answer as well. Okay, then. Well, my dear class, that's all for today. Have a beautiful night and I will see you tomorrow for the next class.